What if one day we could hack into our brains and control our emotions? Scientists have found a way to steer cockroaches via remote control. Another team thinks they can control our brains using light. This is how to remote control a cockroach. The cockroach has two primary sensors, the antennae and cerce organs. It uses these to navigate obstacles and perceive its world. The cockroach has a fascinating butt. Its cerce organs sense changes in airflow, telling the roach when to move. U.S. scientists hacked into the antennae and cerce organs. So the main strategy is basically looking at the insects and learn from them and mimic them. The roach wears a backpack attached to its sensors. We implant tiny electrodes to the antennae and by stimulating different antenna, we can make it turn right and turn left. When we stimulate both antenna, this stops the insect because it thinks that there is an obstacle in the front and it stops. Boskert thinks there are practical uses to this mind control. The major application that we are interested in now is search and rescue after natural disasters. Cockroaches can survive radioactivity and a nuclear plant accident and in such cases, cockroaches can be used to detect the radioactivity or signals related to the accident. Cockroaches are incredibly flexible and can squeeze into the depths of a disaster zone. But the cockroach isn't the only one. Now we might have found ways to control human emotions too. What if you could switch off fear? Imagine being able to shut down every part of the brain except that necessary to carry out a certain task. We might be able to create a superhuman brain. Different parts of the brain have various functions. MIT scientists think they can turn brain areas off and on. So if you want to turn on some cells in the brain and not others that are just nearby, what we did was to make those cells sensitive to light, basically installing solar panels in them that convert light into electricity. Solar panels in the brain? Some algae carry a genome that lets them respond to light, translating it into electricity. The genome was extracted and delivered directly into brain cells. Each cell then developed light sensitivity and now can be controlled. Optical fibers send light beams into the special brain cells. What we can do is we can actually put in optical fibers, the same kind that wire up the internet, directly into the brain. We have a light source, a laser, sending light through an optical fiber into this little apparatus here, which then splits the light out into all these little individual optical fibers. And that way we distribute light into all these different parts of the brain. So what we're doing now is actually uh, turning off different clumps of neurons and looking for effects where we can actually block or reduce the formation of fear. The technique was successfully tested on mice. The team is confident to tackle human brain diseases. But have we found the key to becoming superhumans or super slaves? <laughs>